party politics, which has engulfed the Democrat Party and undermined its liberal instincts. It is an ideology that is racial and collectivist, that privileges groups over individuals and demonizes those who fall on the wrong side of its social equations. As a worldview, identity politics is fundamentally at odds with America's core principles of individual freedom, accountability, and equality, which have been the foundation of the nation's progress for more than 200 years. Identity politics is often referred to as political correctness, but it is more accurately understood as cultural Marxism. The idea that American society is characterized by oppressive hierarchies and thus divided into warring races, genders, and classes. Political correctness is a term that describes a left-wing party line. It was coined by the mass murderer Mao Zedong in the 1930s to keep his followers under the heel of the Chinese Communist Party. Adherents of the progressive party line today regard white Americans, males, Christians, and Jews as oppressors, enemies, and themselves as warriors for social justice. The Communist Origins of Identity Politics According to Wikipedia, the phrase identity politics first appeared in a 1978 manifesto written by self-described black feminist revolutionaries who were members of the Combahee River Collective. The manifesto proclaimed their unalterable hostility to the American system. Black women's extremely negative relationship to the American political system, a system of white male rule, has always been determined by our membership in two oppressed racial and sexual castes. Focusing upon our own oppression is embodied in the concept of identity politics. We believe that the most profound and potentially most radical politics come directly out of our own identity. Citing their debt to lifelong communist apparatchik Angela Davis, the Combahee radicals paid homage in their manifesto to the Marxist roots of their outlook and its anti-American agenda. We realize that the liberation of all oppressed peoples necessitates the destruction of the political economic systems of capitalism and imperialism, as well as patriarchy. In other words, identity politics originated as an anti-American Marxist ideology dedicated to America's destruction. Identity politics is a totalitarian ideology that depicts all aspects of human activity, down to the use of pronouns, as political, therefore requiring management and control. It erases individuals by assigning them to categories that ignore their particular circumstances, achievements, failures, and choices. Individuals are judged first and foremost on the basis of their race, gender, and sexual orientation. These categories take precedence over their individual origins, attitudes, and achievements. Modern progressivism, which embraces cultural Marxism, is a reactionary movement whose goal is to return to the status societies of the pre-capitalist era, when individuals were born into an unalterable hierarchy ranging from peasant to aristocrat. This was the situation that existed before the revolutions of the 18th century created liberal democracies with their concept of individual freedom and their opportunities for upward mobility facilitated by market capitalism. Identity politics is based on the false premise that America is a society in which people are consigned to castes that define their roles and stamp them for life. In reality, the opposite is true. America is the most upwardly mobile society in human history. All its citizens are afforded the right to climb the ladder of opportunity and also to fall from its economic and social heights. Identity politics is a collectivist ideology that is the antithesis of America's self-conception and aspiration since its founding, the belief that individuals are created equal and are to be judged on their merits, not by their origin or other unalterable characteristics. Identity politics ignores the dedication and sacrifices.